Okay, let's talk about the new Future mixtape, Beast Mode 2. Future sound is very prevalent in rap at the moment. It uses a lot of spacey production, very much inspired by Kid Cudi and Kanye West and Drake. It's very sing-songy, but also they talk, he talks about like selling drugs and that sort of like macho shit. Beast Mode 2 is the sequel to 2015 successful Beast Mode album when Future really came into his own. He released albums, he released a string of mixtapes in what might be called his classic period, like, like he's fucking Stevie Wonder or something. So building up to the release of a new studio album, Dirty Sprite 2, the mixtapes were just, the mixtape scene was just dominated by Future about 2014-15, Monster, 56 Nights, Beast Mode, that all were just great out, great projects. Similar to Beast Mode 1, we have, in, we have the project is entirely produced by Zaytoven, a frequent collaborator of Futures. He sort of um, died down a little bit recently, he's been overtaken by people like Metro Boomin and Southside, but Zaytoven is still a big deal, he's still massively part of this Atlanta scene. So at this point, it sounds like Futures boards. Beast Mode 2 is just, I, I don't really see the point of it, it's, he's talking about the same stuff he's always fucking talking about Future. Last year he released a double album, Future and Hendrix, a week apart, one was like rap, one was like R&B, and they were both just shit, because at this point, we know what Future's going to talk about, he's going to talk about women, selling drugs, and how fucking macho he is. Future can make introspective songs. Cody and Crazy is one of his best moments. He took on that song he talks about his coding addiction and how it's gonna kill him and how he can't stop. That's the sort of introspective future that we can hear. That's the compelling future. We've heard enough of the bloody drugs and alcohol and debauchery future. And Beast Mode 2 unfortunately is just debauchery future. Just talking about all this fucking shady shit he's getting into. The man's 34 years old, he's been a successful rapper for about 10 years now, but yet he still thinks that we really think he's like moving fucking kilos of cocaine across the country and he's fucking just going out around, around the world with all these women. I mean, what's like, maybe he does, maybe he does that sort of stuff with girls, but is it interesting? Do we need to know that he's fucking choking girls with his cock? No. You might have thought I was being crude there, but 31 Days from Beast Mode 2 has the refrain in the court, is, like, has the refrain about how he's like putting his dick in girls' mouths and she can't breathe. And that's just repeated over and over again. Songs about girls, it's songs about how he takes loads of MDMA, songs about how much of a fucking bad boy future is and all that. And it's just, it's fucking boring at this point. Like, no one's impressed, but, like, honestly. No one's impressed by a fucking 34 year old man being that fucking crude. It's not even interesting, like, don't get me wrong, rap is misogynistic. Rap does have these fucking, it does have this dark side that no one likes to talk about. But Future just makes it so fucking seedy and it's just all that's all about him. He's so two dimensional and just what's going on at this point? Why, why do we need another album of Future just riding beats and just being really vibey and not really saying anything interesting. We've heard it before. We've heard Beast Mode 2 before. Thankfully, Beast Mode 2 is about half an hour long. You can just put this on, you can put it on in the background and it won't really offend you too much. You just hear Future being like, oh, fuck the bitch with my cock. And he just does that and it just, nothing really catches your ears. There's, there's nothing really that compelling about this album or Future. The man at this point, like, what's what's he got left to say? He needs to, like, talk about stuff. He's got this thought with Sierra, and she's grown up with Russell Wilson, and Future's been really passive-aggressive about it over the years and that. Something like that would be interesting to talk about, how he's a dad and he can't see his kids and that. But no one really cares about all this, like, scandalous stuff he get up to. The last song on Beast Mode 2 is Hate The Real Me. This song is quite interesting. It talks about Future's, like, self-loathing. He talks about like just 
how his mum is worried about the drugs he's doing, how he's doing all these things. He's like with all these women and it doesn't make him happy. And it's actually quite an interesting sort of introspective moment from Future. But he just doesn't pull it off very well. It's just, it's the same beat that you hear him on. It's the exact same flow. And after you hear like eight songs of him boasting about all this stuff, about all the drugs and the women and stuff, like it doesn't, it feels shallow. Like what's, you you made this whole mixtape Nine songs long, eight of them are boasting. The ninth song is about how everything you've boasted about makes you unhappy deep down. I can't, I can't take it seriously. What's the point? Beast Mode Two, it's, it's a bit shit. You can't, I can't sugarcoat it. It's background music at best. It's the same old future, same old subject matter, same. He does some different flows ish, but I mean, what's there's nothing compelling about this. The beats are just like, they're okay. They just do the job in the background. Just like tinny hi-hats and some like spacey guitars every now and then. But it's just, it's not good. It's not worth your time. Three. Three out of ten. It's shit.